In this quick tutorial, we're going to walk through how to use classic light hits in Final Cut X. First, let's import classic light hits into our project. We'll just hit Command I and we'll navigate to the Classic Light Hits folder and select all these subfolders. Before we import, we're going to create a new event and call it Classic Light Hits 4K. And we'll want to make sure it creates keywords from the folders. The effects in this library are really versatile and easy to use. And as you can see, they're organized into five different categories, which makes it easier to locate the type of effect that'll match the shot you're working on. All right, let's look at our footage. We've got this epic drone shot that's panning toward the sun. Then we cut to this woman walking through a field. Both shots have pretty clear light motivation, like over here and right over here. And we're gonna use some light hits to tease that light out a bit more. First off, we wanna make the transition between the two clips a bit more elegant. So we're gonna add a light hit that ramps up right before the cut, and on the next shot, we'll add a light hit that slowly fades away from the cut. Let's go into the pan folder and grab clip number seven and drag it onto our timeline and go to the video inspector and set the blend mode to screen. Let's go to the effects browser and type in flip and we'll grab the flip effect so that our light hit is panning the same direction as our drone shot is panning. All right, let's scrub through the clip and find the spot right before it's brightest. And we'll trim the clip right there and drag it right up to our edit point. Looking great. Let's dial in the color. So we'll go to the color inspector and choose add color wheels. As with all our video products, you can easily color grade or tint the effects to get interesting looks. In this case, we just wanna make it a bit warmer and we'll maybe dial the mids down a bit. Perfect. For the next shot, let's grab clip number four from the slow folder and we'll set the blend mode to screen. And we'll maybe scale it up a bit. One major benefit of owning the 4K version of the library, even if you're working in 1080p, is that you have way more range to scale the effects up without losing resolution. Just like before, let's scrub to the part of the clip where it's brightest, and we want to use the part just after that so it fades from the edit point. Now we want the effect to be a bit more subtle. So we'll go to the effects browser and type in mask and we'll add a shape mask. Let's crank up the curvature and we'll position the mask over here and make it a bit larger, maybe rotate it a bit and we'll feather it way up. Let's go to the color inspector again, add a color wheel, and we'll dial in the warmth. This is looking really good, but let's do one more thing. We're going to duplicate the clip by holding down Option and dragging the clip. Next, let's go to the retiming options and choose Reverse Clip. Then we'll drag it over here so we get a pop of light right at the end. Perfect.